Oh, these straps though. Okay. We can't be doing all this now. Oh my god, what is wrong with me today? I got all these straps on? Perfect. Okay, we are rolling. We are rolling. Rolling down the river. Star, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very, very, very exciting video I wanted to share with you guys. And it is my best Morphe brushes, favorite Morphe brushes video. I just want to say that Morphe is an amazing company and I wish, 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 wish that I had a company like this that I knew about when I first started doing makeup because makeup is expensive. If you do want to get into the makeup industry and you're building your kit, it is very, very, very expensive. So what I would do is I would go to the drugstore, buy brushes, I would go to Ross, I would go to TJ Maxx, I would go into any old drugstore, even Walmart or Target and find these brushes and they never seem to hold up as well. But today I have an array of brushes for you and I want to introduce to you guys my favorite brushes by Morphe. And the way that I'm going to introduce them to you guys is how I would do a full face. So I'll start off with, let's say, like foundation, concealer, setting, powder, blush, bronzer, highlight, contour, and then eye brushes. So that's how I will do a face, and that's how I'm going to introduce to you guys these brushes. And I'm so excited. Mama has her tea. By the way, I'm drinking peach tea and with a dash of honey, and it's so good. If you guys like this makeup, let me know. Um, I do not have a tutorial on this. Let me know if you guys want to see it. But all of the products will be listed down below. Anyways, let's get right into the brushes that are my favorite. So first, I want to start off with foundation. My favorite foundation brushes by Morphe are these brushes right here. And this is the M439 Deluxe Buffer Brush. It's amazing because I am obsessed with dense brushes because I like density in brushes because you're able to pick up a lot of products and control how much you use and also how much you apply and also when you do buff it in makeup is all about blending and buffing and blending and buffing and this deluxe buffer brush that's a tongue twister allows me to blend and to buff and to simply execute a flawless beat slayed laid face can I get a yes for this brush this brush is amazing it's deluxe it really really gets the job done and what i like about it too is if you are into the whole highlighting and contouring with creams that whole streak face this brush will allow you to blend everything seamlessly and it is very very large and dense the next brush that i am going to talk about is the m457 this brush is very similar but this is a dual fiber brush and i prefer this with liquids. This I prefer with creams, liquids, and all types of makeup foundation mediums. But this I truly prefer liquids because you're able to pick up and blend and um, the cream will not get as stuck in this one. This one is just more so more dense than this one but I prefer this because it really will allow for a seamless finish. I use this on Gretchen Rossi. Here's a picture of her. She looks flawless. I didn't have any of these brushes and I had just got these brushes the day before I went to go do her makeup and this I used with Studio Fix Liquid and the Makeup Forever HD. I mixed that foundation for her and it really buffed everything so smoothly and so 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 fast. And I like a big brush because it's large and it's thick and it gets the job done. Do you know what I'm saying? So this is the M457 brush. I really love it. Um, this is on the more expensive side in the $20 range of Morphe. But this brush, they do have at Sephora. Manny told me about it. And it is more, I think, $45 for a brush like this at Sephora. But what I like about these brushes is that there is a good weight to it. You can tell and feel that it is good quality. And... The ironic part is that it's for an amazing, amazing price. Oh, speaking of price, really quick, I forgot to mention that I do have a discount code for 10% off. These brushes are already so inexpensive for the quality that why not use a discount code? It is an affiliate code. You guys don't have to use it by any means. I wish I had 
YouTube to look to when I started and I just want to share with you guys that an amazing company with an amazing price and an amazing deal and why not use the code you don't have to if you don't want to but these brushes are amazing and I know it is very 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 inexpensive I'm getting hot am I getting emotional am I getting hot these lights are so bright um, I'm just saying that um, when I started makeup I would build my kit as I go and it was very hard and it took me a very long time to build my kit because of money when you're doing makeup you kind of have to spend money to make money it's not like I can just go into work use the supplies and make money you really have to build your office this is like your tools for your office and your office is your freelance or whatever you do take advantage of the code take advantage of the website and I love Morphe. By the way, these M439s, I knew that they were going to sell out, so I always stock up. Every time I go to a trade show, I'll always buy one as tradition, and I love the M439. It's my favorite. Okay, next, moving on to concealer. I have two brushes that I like to apply. I more so love to use the Beauty Blender for blending, but I use concealer brushes for application. So I like to use this brush called the M202 brush. It's a flat synthetic brush and it fits right in the nooks and crannies. I like a small brush like this because sometimes most people tend to forget to conceal the inner corner. I like this because it's really small and they can get right in here without disrupting a client's eye. Is there a fly? <gasps> Anyways, it's really, really nice and it's really great for applying a primer as well on the lid and also packing shadow. So this is kind of like a beautiful multi-purpose brush and this is the M202 brush. This is from the M series. Another brush that I really love, which is brand spanking new from Morphe, is the Elite Collection. It has like the letter E on it. It's the E25 and it's double end. You know, we all love a double ended brush you this is the e25 this is like a dense domed pointed tulip brush and it's really small and it can fit right under the eye and it's really tapered and you're able to blend until the concealer goes away and i love this brush so much and also on the other end it has a smaller version on the other end so you can spot conceal what you don't want to see and this is the e25 and this is limited edition and i would recommend to get it now before they discontinue this brush this is the e25 brush from the elite collection focus focus there you go bitch my camera is trying me today because she wants to die you can die when i'm done okay camera so I want to move on to powder brushes. These are the essential powder brushes that I want to talk to you guys about for concealer. When I do foundation and then I do concealer, I really have to set my concealer immediately. And I love using the M509 brush. It is very tapered. It is very skinny. And it's very lightweight. So it's really gentle under the eyes. So you can really set. And what I love about it is that it is so long and Skinny, long and skinny is okay. It's long, skinny, and tapered that you can really, really set really close to the inner corner all the way to the outer corner. And it's really, I keep saying really, really. It is very flexible so you can cook even and set loose powder under the eye to catch any follow. And I love this brush so, so much. And it is an essential for me in my kit, especially when you want to set concealer. And it is the M509. All the brushes will be listed down below. Moving on. So to set the face, I like to use one of two brushes, the Morphe G7 brush. This is amazing. I will do this to buff my powder on my chest. Or I will use the E2. This is the Elite Collection. And like I said, the Elite Collection will be discontinued. And I love this E Elite E2 brush. It's synthetic. I don't know what I love about this. It's very soft and it's a lot larger. I mean, size doesn't always matter, if you know what I'm saying. But the E2 is larger, it's softer, and it's thicker. And I like it. Um, the G7 is nice. It's from the, the Gunmetal Collection, the G7. I love this to set my powder. And I like it because it's very round and it's dense and I can pick up a lot of products. I like to layer my foundations on myself. On a client, you can layer setting powder, a translucent powder with this brush and it's amazing because it really gets the job done because it is very large. Not as large as the E2, but the G7 works just as well. So get these brushes. Now. I like to stick one of these in my purse for when I want to touch up, okay? Because you can never go wrong with a little extra powder, especially if you're wet. If you're dry, then 
So for all skin types, we like to dress the face. And I want to talk about a blush brush and contouring brush as well. I like the Morphe G5 brush. This is a tapered, dense powder brush, and it's a little bit chubbier. Chubby's okay. It's okay if you're chubby and larger. 200 Club, I'm just saying. I like this because it's tapered, and you can really get the cheekbones right here. Also, you can lay it flat so you can bronze around the forehead and get in the nooks and crannies too. But this is especially great for contouring and also since it has a flat surface right here it's great to apply blush but for blush and highlight I prefer a loose brush um, and this is the M403 brush it is pinched right here at the ferrule so you can get a nice light application for your brush and I love this brush for blush and it is the M403 it's just a very standard staple brush that you should have in your personal life and also your professional makeup artist freelance life if you are up that alley um and this is the M403 get it now okay we're almost done i know this video is gonna be so long but i don't know what's making me hot the lights the tea or the boy is calling me i'm just let's talk about eye brushes do you guys like my eye makeup i like it um it's very simple, so it's just a little crease, a liner. This video is not about the makeup, but I want to talk about the essential staple brushes for eyes. You can do any eye look with these brushes, with the exception of an eyeliner brush, because eyeliner brush is really more so preference. There is a taper brush and an angle brush, but I will have that in a separate video. But for the most part, these five brushes, you can really execute a beautiful, blended, intricate, simple, modern, eleganza eye, slayed, laid, beat for the god's eye. These brushes are amazing. So let's start off with the eye. So I like to blend first using a transition color and I like to use the M504 brush. This is a very fluffy and flexible brush. It is also dense but I like to kind of bend it, especially when brushes are new, I kind of like to make it fluffy. This is similar almost to the 224 brush by MAC. The difference is the damn price. The MAC one is $31 and this one is way, way, way more inexpensive, especially with my discount code. This is the M504 and I like it because it really fits in the eye. And I like this to snatch my nose because you see right here, you guys, I like to snatch this part right here and you see how perfect it fits. It's absolutely perfect for blending. Also, after you blend, I like to kind of take a more small brush, a smaller brush, like the M433. This is very freaking similar to the 217 brush by MAC. Again, it is way more inexpensive, but it's just as great. It has a nice weight to it. The length of the handle is really, really good. But more importantly, the brush. I like it because it is very pinched on the side, and it's also fluffy, and it's also tapered. So that way you can really deposit on the very tip of the brush and sketch out a crease color if your little heart desires to sketch one out. And this, these two brushes, I want to say, is a must-have for everybody to execute a beautiful blended eye. And this is the M504 or M433 and M433 brush. This M433 is life and you guys should have it in your kit. Your makeup kit, your makeup brush, in your makeup bag, everywhere. The M433 is amazing, especially for blending. I'm, I'm just going to shut up. Just get the M433 or the M504. Okay, what shall I talk about next? I want to talk about the M432. I have about five of these brushes. The M432 is my lifesaver. This is a very multi-purpose brush. You can use this flat angled brush for your eyebrows, for sketching out the concealer under your brow, for smudging out color under the lash line. This brush is amazing and it's very, very inexpensive as well. And this is the M432. And this is the flat top angle brush and it's an amazing brush that you should have in your kit. Again, amazing for the whole eye. Brow, eyelash, lash line, everything. M432. Okay, we're almost done, you guys. So I have these last two brushes I wanna talk about. This is the M431 brush. 
and this is from the M series and it's like a very tapered pencil brush and I love this for highlighting the nose if you want to snatch your nose like Miss Fame and this is great for smudging out underneath and also packing in on the inner corner of your eye for a bright eye effect and you can you really use this with any color it just really is a great brush because it's a little bit longer and it really has the flexibility to blend under the eye as well as pack on shadow on the inner corner last but not least is the m508 brush this is an amazing precision brush it's very skinny and very fine and I like to use this to detail right under my lash line because it is so fine and so so small and also the M508 is great for precision lips and I feel like this is a brush that Nikki Tutorials would use for detailing her beautiful lips and this is great and it's the M508 I use for lipstick, lip gloss, sketching out under the eye also I like to sketch my cut crease with this the M508 is great. And I just want to let you guys know that these five brushes right here are great and will complete any eye look with the exception of an eyeliner brush. So those are all my favorite, favorite, favorite Morphe brushes. I love, oh, oh. I love these brushes so, so much. So, so, so much that I hope you guys check out the website and invest on great brushes. And when I say invest, these brushes are going to last you a long time. There is not really an expiration date on brushes. I just want you to remember that. Brushes are great. And when you can invest in great brushes like Morphe, you will not be disappointed. Brushes are a great thing to invest in because when you have good brushes, you look good. And when you look good, you feel good. And when you feel good, you're happy. And that's what I want to make you guys feel. I just want you guys to be happy with your makeup and one step closer to having a happy, beautiful face. Beat laid, slayed. I'm gonna coin that. Beat laid and slayed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to comment. Tell me what videos you'd like to see next. If you like this makeup look, let me know in the comments below. I don't know what else to say. I'm still trying to get used to talking to you guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for all your love, all your support. And it's still surreal to me that I can sit here in my home and talk to a camera and just chat like you're my friend. And I just want to say I love you guys so much. And don't forget to enter the code PSTAR in all caps to get a discount on the Morphe brushes. And I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe. I already said that. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat. I love Snapchat. I'm rambling. Shut up, Patrick. Anyways, I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.